Hi all, welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgie Evans, and I'm joined by Callum Knight, content editor of Show Studio. Hello. Um, it's arguably our favourite review to do. <laughs> uh, we're here in Paris and we're going to be talking about um, Maison Angela, uh, Spring Summer 20. Um, as usual, the Ready to Wear is kind of a continuation of the Artisanal collection that we saw, and the Artisanal was um, introducing this beautiful projection print, um, all these references to equestrian, slightly um, old timey British. Um, wartime elements and that was very much carried through into this ready to wear collection um, as per usual we've had a little listen to Galliano's fantastic podcast which he releases with the press release um, post show um, and this one is particularly entrancing I definitely would recommend going and having a listen um, so this collection was all about past present and future and remembrance and honoring um, those who have fought before us um, for the democracy and the right to vote that we now have or arguably that we don't have now. Um, Galliano was very keen to push the idea of this kind of um, catastrophe that we're having right now um, with the European Union and politics and just we're losing that um, losing that fight in democracy. So basically honouring the people that fought really hard to give us that right, give us that power, um, give us the freedom that we have now. So thinking of great um, individuals from the wartime in the 40s, we're talking about Marie Curie, um, and also Galliano had watched this wonderful BBC programme um, when he was on holiday about Katie Robbins, who was a soldier who fell in love with an 18 year old in France called Janine. Um, and he was completely enamoured with this romantic story of how they um, were reunited by the BBC 75 years later. And there's this wonderful snapshot of Janine in a little bikini, you know, swimsuit, sorry. Um, and just the romance that comes with that whole period. Um, but also the power that comes with all that period and the greatness of those individuals. So it's about this duality of kind of modern political climbs while paying huge respect and remembrance to all the people who've um, fought before us. So with that in mind, this collection was really truly fantastic um so slight wartime 40s notes in uh, the headpieces we've got almost maritime sailor hats um the, some of the women's wear looks have old school 40s nurse um outfits um and i noticed a little um accessory on the side as well really hammering home that kind of marie curie nurse element which looked like um almost like a bacteria in red uh, red beading with a needle through it um lots of um those coat styles that they used to wear if you think about scenes in Pearl Harbor um, with all these wonderful 40s kind of pinafores and little capes and draping headwear but of course given this fantastic Moggio Le Galliano twist um, with netting and fraying at the back um, also the men's wear um, very utilitarian lots of military references with pins and lapels um, not lapels sorry but kind of wide shoulders and boxy suiting and um, which is something we saw in the artisanal um as well um everyone's wearing these stomping great fantastic booted heels um which is amazing and is giving everyone this real powerful um walk um also it's definitely worth talking about um the materials and fabrication as it always is with the galliano margela show um rather fantastically throughout the podcast galliano kept saying things are not what they seem don't be <laughs> fooled um so when you're looking at fabrics and you think gosh that looks like quite a heavy heavy wintry detail um it's not it's digitally digitally printed to look that way but it's actually a summer wool or a light cotton um which again is um, kind of the magic of a Galliano Margiela show. Um, I do sometimes feel like we're getting this wonderful smoke and mirrors magic trick um, when we go to these collections because you're looking constantly to figure out whether that's actual netting or a digital print of netting or is that a projection print or is that actual wool or has he spliced that with um, something else? Is that actually a jacket? And there were these wonderful jackets which were um, kind of navy or black and then white um, jagged on the interior and then cinched in at the waist and I couldn't tell if it was bleaching or if it was two materials that had been merged together um, it's this wonderful fantasy that you're kind of trying to explore and unpick these clothes um, one of the best um, elements of this was the hole punch um, and so in some cases there are beautiful suits and organzas and peach tones and blacks in literal hole punch um, so as in you can see through and you'd be able to stick your fingers through and in some cases that hole punch is a digital print on these bouffant um, kind of stylings on the back and in other cases it's the idea of a hole punch on the top of a blazer but it's but it's not entirely see-through um, so I just think that whole idea is fantastic and then that holy idea is kind of added again 
um, in kind of netting and things. The soundtrack is definitely worth mentioning because at parts it harks to a kind of 50s um, wartime maritime tune playing I'm growing in my garden and really beautiful romantic I'm not gonna try and sing it and then it segues into this amazing punchy club kid um, soundtrack about sweating down balls and come rave with me and that again is past present future but really quite explicitly which <laughs> I really love um, there was also reference to an artist called Christian McClay who uses kind of soundscaping and snapchat um, and the digital era so he captures this kind of white noise of Snapchat and then you, you're able to interact with it. So if you played on the piano, you might see different streams of Snapchats coming up in front of you. Um, and it's that kind of white noise that's something that Galliano really likes to play with. So he would kept saying the debris of noise, the debris of kind of social media and um, everything that we're kind of consumed by nowadays, which is actually something that Galliano was looking at um, maybe two seasons ago, three seasons ago. Um, but I really like the idea of this white noise um, being almost like modern day um, wartime noise, this constant fodder of kind of sounds and attack and debris. And to me, that really felt like um, a kind of modern day version of something you might be hearing in the chaos of a hospital in the 40s. Um, maybe that's just me going a bit crazy there, but I really love that. Um, that duality between the two. Um, uh, it was just one of the most amazing collections ever. The models, the casting. Um, I love the suiting, which almost like zoot suits, which again is a continuation of the artisanal collection. Um, but the real magic here is the fabrications and just the whole mystery of what is this? What's it made of? How's it cut? How do you wear it? Um, my favorite piece in the entire collection, which Galliano was talking about in the podcast, is the Glam Slam coat. Um, it's something that um, Margiela riffs off um, continually throughout the collections, but this was kind of white and beautiful and so, so fantastic. And Galliano was saying, which I suppose is kind of um, his take on sustainability, that this is something you buy and you might not feel um, ready to engage with it this season, but next season or in 10 years time, you might wear it. And the, the Snapchat generation of then will say, wow, that's such a cool coat. Where did you get that? And then you can say, years ago at Marvela. <laughs> um, and there's something really beautiful about that. And again, that feeds into this past, present, future and remembrance um, kind of metaphor that we've got throughout this collection. So stonking, really good collection. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's really interesting he's choosing to look because it obviously is about remembrance, but it's also he's saying in the podcast that actually people he's speaking to his um the stages the interns don't necessarily know these stories about how, that you know that the x-ray was invented during wartime or you know these kind of heartbreaking stories of love and um death yeah, and all yeah. this stuff and people you know that people now who are 2019 so people who are interning with him are born in 2000 you know <laughs> <laughs> you know just about or they're about next year they will be so you know they really might not know these stories and it's really prevalent now, giving everything we've just spoken about and that, you know, what is happening and that people have kind of got complacent. So that's why he's chosen this season to talk about this now. It's not just an ode to, it's kind of, it's an ode to the people and to try and reinvigorate everyone to get out and vote and do all of that. He says it in the make podcast. Make stand. Yeah, make Which was stand. really surprisingly explicitly, Yeah, he was literally saying, go and vote. Yeah. Which is kind of amazing for a Margiela podcast. Yeah, well, for any for any kind of worldwide house is actually quite they lots of houses that speak worldwide obviously are very scared to get political. But um, John and Margiela have done it in the most incredible way and mm. in a really in a really convincing and true way. Um, also, the I you know what you're so you know what you're saying about the kind of like the noise debris mm. is I was thinking there's lots of terminology at the moment about the kind of digital wars. And the fact that we are leaving this stuff all around. Mm. And people are, you know, big companies are fighting over this information. We have no idea we're even leaving it. But actually, for some people, this information is really important. If you, you know, there's that documentary on Netflix, a great hack. There's kind of all of this talk. And it was really felt that it was referencing towards kind of that angle. Mm. You know, and, this, and that we're just throwing stuff out there, all this information about ourselves that anyone can correlate and pick up. And it's almost as if... Or John's, manipulate. Yeah, or manipulate. But it's almost like John's trying to find these little bits of ourselves that we leave so whether it is this little one of the looks you'll see has a huge amount of keys on it yeah. like these just little things that actually tell a lot about a person but we just kind of throw out willy nilly and don't think about um, how your, much they say of us trail, yeah. like your time capsule and even one of those prints is called the hack Yeah. and the, the idea that you'll um, those coats those outfits that you were saying that have um, 
digital prints of different fabrics over the top is the idea of someone laying more information and lying to you. Things aren't what they seem. It's actually very sinister. Yeah. But done with such a kind of joyous, if you watch the show, joyous, slightly campy, slightly bad taste way the models kind of stomp out on the catwalk and strike a pose at the give end. Give you daggers. Yeah, and give you da- daggers and, you know. And the fun of it is kind of, you know, is what brings you in and then actually and then you think oh maybe I will listen to that podcast and then and then you're you, hooked yeah then you're hooked <laughs> then you're, and you're starting like, yeah you're starting to read all this stuff and you know I think you're right I also think that's really important when you are trying to portray a political message in that this wasn't preachy in any way no. shape or form it felt really true and just yeah, as you say, joyous. Yeah. And that's what's enticing. And then you are right, you go and watch the Yeah, podcast. and you can take it totally surface level. Look at these clothes that are, you know, incredible. The, the techniques he was saying developed in the atelier in Paris, which is downstairs from the studio. It's more five stairs down. And he can spend, he spends his time in that atelier and with those people and with the interns, mm. kind of making these things. And you can just leave it and take it at that. But if you want to engage and you want to start kind of learning what these clothes are actually saying, apart from just being incredibly well-made um, clothes from a French house, mm. you can, and there's all of that information there for you to get involved with. And I think that's what's really amazing, instead of avoiding it totally, or saying, don't wear this unless you are this. Mm. You know, you can choose your level of engagement, which is totally fitting as well with the times that we're in. It's that's so, so meta. <laughs> it's so meta. <laughs> okay, meta, amazing, fantastic. Um, let us know what you thought in the comments below if you're watching through YouTube. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, and make sure to visit Show Studio so you can see this fantastic collection <laughs> alongside our rather gushy review. Um, we'll speak soon. Bye.